the Rift Breaker. This is probably one of my favorite tower defense based games that I've ever played. This is probably a, among my favorite ones. The only one better than this is Balloon Tower Defense. I'm sorry, but Balloon Tower Defense will top just about every freaking. I mean, actually, no. This game is probably above, just above every tower defense balloons game. Because balloons is also one of my favorite games to play. I like all the balloon games. Because. <laughs> I just like watching a monkey play darts at the. I'm, I'm I'm very simple. I'm a very simple simple person, and for some reason, watching a monkey throw a dart at a balloon is fascinating. I just find it fascinating for the first like ten minutes of gameplay, and then after a while, I just slowly start to get bored of it. <laughs> so I usually only make it to like wave. 60 or 70 before I finally get bored enough to die, uh, tr stop trying. Anyways. Rift Breaker! We're going to be starting a new campaign today. I'm not deleting my old campaign, even though I have no idea what I was doing in that campaign. Honestly, I forgot half of the stuff I did in that game. I was like, what the, What am I supposed to be doing here? I don't know. Mainly because I don't remember how to transport resources from this map back to my main, my main HQ map. My main HQ map, which is the first map you got. Here's <laughs> your HQ. It's where you process all your ore and store all your ammo and all your other stuff. First and foremost, we're going to have to move this uh, plug-in to the right side, probably. There we go. We're going to watch the prologue first, because why not? Gala to 37. Reporting successful jump procedure. Roger that. Begin field base setup. It's closing in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we all know that shit. We all know that shit. We all know what the death thing is. It's a freaking alien. <laughs> it's a bad alien trying to, like, how dare you get on my planet? How dare you? I'm gonna go kill you. <laughs> you, you, you come on my territory? How dare you, metal box? How dare you? You're building, you're building shit on my territory. How dare you? Rift jump successful. New Sensors campaign. online. Weapons activated. We're ready to go. Ooh. Rift breaker no Dance back. of destiny. Report. Houston, this is Ashley. Reporting rift jump successful. Roger that. Begin field base setup. Ashley. Construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. We don't have enough carbonium to build an HQ. Let's scout for a deposit and set up our base close to it. We need to move quick. It's probably a matter of time before the natives spot us. Yeah, it is. You're not lying there. I'm collecting a bunch of plant matter. Plant matter is important because after a while, you're going to be running off plant matter for a while. Obviously, I have a bunch of plant matter bio biomass dinners because plant matter is my one of my main sources. So I'll be back. I'll be back in just a second. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just take you with me. I'll be right back.
sure it's not the garage. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, I wanna gonna I gotta have to pause my live stream here for just a second. I'll make sure to cut that out. Uh, cut the pause time out because I hate I don't like it that whenever you pause a live stream it literally just leaves a big pause gap window there but the stream still continues on and I'm like Okay, so the funny thing is, that wasn't anything imp bad, it was literally, <laughs> it was literally just fridge, the freezer outside, that's all it was. Let me see, let me check my friggin' research real quick. Research. Whoa, I forgot I had the boost. We got a, a mini a machine gun. Okay, so let's scout the area, find our carbonite deposit thing here. We're just gonna keep breaking, ex slowly expanding our knifeyness. A pla like a what is that? A plasma grenade? Plasma launcher? No, I'm always about clearing up all the land, all the grass, everything. I literally clear it all out. I clear out a large area. I build a base there. Because the grass gets annoying after a while. All this, all this debris gets annoying after a while because you're trying to collect all of it. The biomass doesn't technically count as a uh, storable item. It does, but I think you could store a lot more of it. We've located the other a carbonium stuff. deposit. Okay, move on to the deposit and start drilling. Yep, looks like we're gonna be building our base right here. All right, let's uh, clear out this area here and get ready to build a base here because we're gonna be building a small outpost. I, I do say small because right early on, you're gonna have a really small base with a lot of gun turrets, walls, and everything else. So you're gonna, you're always gonna be dealing with those alien things because after a while, the aliens are gonna be like, hmm, what's that over there? Let's go investigate. And they start sending scout teams over here, and they're like, shit. And those scout teams are heavily armored, and it's like a bunch of fast movers and shit. You're like, screwed.
All right, we got enough space here. Let's drill our off a deposit. We've gathered enough resources to construct a headquarters building. Finally, let's place it close to a carbonium deposit. This will help us speed up resource production. HQ construction in progress. Sometimes I wish we could fast forward this part of the simulation. Captain Novak, let me remind you that even though this is a simulated training exercise, you are expected to perform as if it was your real mission on Galatea 37. We need to expand the base. Let's By go God, man, this looks so real. I thought it was actually the real game. Nope. Yes, we've it's got like much more interesting real. things to do. I completely Let's forgot about this. this. Okay. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, we're gonna put. We're gonna try to put four on the four little drillers on here. Not enough carbonium. Our base will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their no, area of operation. You, nine Even times out of ten, I'm always visible. building like massive freaking wind turbines. We're, we're all massive wind farms. We're talking massive, massive wind farms. I usually end up building these things like 40 or 50, 60 big stretched across a large area and I'm like used up a large area and then I put a big freaking really thick wall around it Ashley, so I can... Remember to connect all buildings to the power grid. Energy connectors distribute power to all buildings within their operating radius. I have to take a lot of movement to the west. We should build up a defensive perimeter around the base. Let's set up some walls and sentinel towers. Focus our defenses on the western direction. They never changed the beginning of this exercise. Captain Novak, we all know your renowned scientific background, but your combat performance in the previous simulation was far from spectacular. Slaughtering indigenous Damn. creatures was never my area of expertise. Since you've already done this a couple of times, we've introduced some new additions to this course. We'll see what your area of expertise really is. Uh, they added more? Ooh, fancy toys. I'm gonna drill up some more carbonium, because clearly I'm just slightly soft. No! Technically, they're not gonna pay coming at all because they're gonna wait for me to build the walls and stuff. So, right now, I'm just collecting up carbonium so I can build up a wall. Build up more uh, wind turbines so I can then therefore uh, power my expansive drilling operation here. There we 
go. Yeah, there's deposit. These deposits usually last you a long time, so usually you don't have to worry about them. See, you got a few enemies right there. They're like real close to the base. I'm sorry, but you have to die. We got a little operational outpost here, not big, not small, but I mean, I mean, it's not big, but it's got just enough power on it so that we can actually really do something effective, hopefully, with it. Yep, I gotta wait for this to fill out so I can build it and then I gotta build more walls. Gun towers have, they require ammunition to work, so. So I can now get out of my base so I can actually go outside. Now we're gonna grab our, our uh, knife and we're gonna cut the rest of the grass down within our base. Or we have more space to build turrets and whatnot on this eastern side. They say to build six, but I'm going to build ten. Maybe twelve. It's always a good thing to have a lot. More is better in this game. More, more is better. They try to tell you in some games that less is better, but th in this game, more is better. A lot more is better. Because that way, you don't have to worry about running out of guns or ammo or whatever. I don't have enough AI cores to support any more defensive towers. You will need to construct additional AI hubs to expand our defenses. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. AI hubs consume a lot of energy.
Usually it's the plant matter burners or a or, or these either these are solar panels that I'm building a lot of It's one of the two I'm always building a lot of the greener energy based buildings because I mean heck I'm gonna help I'm gonna speed up this operation a little bit by drilling myself or drilling some myself grass is coming back. No. Go away. Bad mushrooms. Bad grass. Go away. floor baby Alright, so we're gonna build all of our floors and we're gonna cut all the grass off this area because the floors are one thing, these are one thing the monsters can't really destroy. But I can destroy nature with these things. Exactly. Basic metal floor increases movement speed of the mecha suit and looks better than sand and rocks. This is true. Not enough carbonium. This is only the tutorial, but the tutorial is still very fun. It shows you how the game really works. And I'm always about putting these metal floors everywhere. Where I, if I'm planning on building a base there, yeah, I usually end up putting floors everywhere because I just. I work so hard to clear all these, uh, all the plants and stuff that I just, I would prefer to not have to keep cutting the plants down. Luckily the main map itself is massive so it takes you a long time to clear all the land off and usually you don't have to worry about it because if you build a building or something near the plants or something the plants will be deleted.
There we go. All of the floors have been secured. Now I look nice and clean. Now I just got to build some AI cores. Probably over here somewhere because the aliens are coming from that direction. I don't want them to break through the walls and shut down my turrets. These basic defenses should give us a bit of security, but we should try to surround our entire base with walls and defensive towers. More is better. Detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Prepare to fight. Go. We're ready for them, Mr. Riggs. Yep. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. Detecting any more hostile creatures in the base's vicinity. Well done, Captain Novak. The purpose of this training exercise is to prepare you for intense combat situations. This simulation is based on our long distance scans of Galatea 37. They may or may not be accurate. You will be alone out there. There will be no communication back home until you can stabilize a rift portal back to Earth. You will have to rely only on your skills and your mecha suit. Mr. Riggs is the yes. only companion that I need. We can handle the unknown. Exactly. Just let us do our job. Exactly. We can handle it. It's just like, you're gonna be by yourself, so there's, there's no one to help you. There's no one to help you do shit. Ashley, we should further secure and expand our base. You can build more defenses, or go out and clear out hostile creatures' nests to prevent further attacks. We didn't have any that time to study the creatures thing. that are attacking us. The only thing we can do right now is to fight them or strengthen our defenses. We'll need a steel factory to build more towers. We'll have to find an ore deposit to build one. Building extra wall layers to keep out the bad guys. Bad guys, bad guys, gotta keep out the bad guys.
Yeah, this is just a combat sim. This, is, this ain't the real thing. This, this literally is just a combat sim of the, the prologue. It's, but this is what I would do in the real game. Build a triple wall around any of my bases. Triple wall. Keep out the enemy for a lot longer time. It doesn't matter which wall you're going to. Always triple it. If not quadruple it. So that way you can keep out the bad guys for a long time. No, because those little fast runner things, I forgot what they're called, but those little fast runners, those things are always going to go straight for the, the weakest section of your wall and they're going to try to chew through it really quickly. There we go. Build a secondary wall here, a uh, secondary door access. Wow, I don't leave a big hole in my, a big gap in my walls protection area, buffer zone. It's literally just a three wall buffer zone between me and the enemies. The gun turrets have more than enough space, so I don't have to, I don't have to worry about them. Forget about it. Now, although we finish that, we could go out and find the bad guys. Like, charge! This looks like a hive of some sort. Let's look inside to see if it's occupied. nest. This will decrease the strength of their attacks. Let's gather all the research samples and rare resources that were in this nest. We can study them later and use them to craft better equipment. What's this? This shouldn't be here. It's an error in the simulation's construct. This environment has been created by combining long-distance quantum scans of Galatea 37 and other known planets that share similar properties. Gathering all of this data has taken many years, and we were only able to scan a small fraction of the planet. It's enough to know that we can survive there. I can't wait to make the jump. Everything is going to be new there and waiting to be studied and explored. And waiting to eat us. Let's not get dramatic, Mr. Riggs. A five meters tall mech suit with miniguns and power blades should be enough to fend off a few hungry creatures. There's more Phew. than a single species of creatures around this nest. We should be careful. Use the night the power blade to take all the bad guys out. Oh shit, run. Ashley, I strongly advise you to construct an armory. 
It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. Run away. Run away. Yes, we have to run away. We're basically just barely surviving here. We gotta get back to our our wall, our our triple wall base. Go here, and we'll heal. All right, now armory, ammunition. Yes, you only need one of these. Liquid is produced much faster than all the rest, so... This is usually why I end up using, like, uh, flamethrowers. My flamethrower is my main weapon, usually, so I'm, like, able to you maximize my flamethrower amount and I'm like I would have burn all the bad guys down Construction finished. We can now use it to craft new items. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for. Or a chainsaw. Yeah, freaking this. We got orbital bombardment. My weapons. Yeah, see, we're able to make more ammo now. But this ta this process takes time. It takes time to make more ammo. So this is why I usually rely solely on power blades and chainsaws, hammers and melee weapons mainly. And then I have my guns as my backup. Warning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Saw it apart, man. Break it apart. destroyed the nest. Even though there were multiple species of creatures around here, they appeared as if all of them were working together against us. I wonder if that's just a part of the simulation, or if the Galatean creatures are really going to be that smart. That would make studying them much more interesting. And much more dangerous. Threat neutralized. I've detected an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. It looks like we've cleared them out. Let's hope this will give us some time to build up our base. Weapon dropped.
And I'm like, ha! <laughs> I'm like, run, run for the bad guy. Look at this big old carbonium deposit thing here. Look at this big ass carbonium deposit. Alright, let's get some, let's align energy back to the base with this. Not enough carbonium. Not enough carbonium. Let's go ahead and get some pa batteries set up. Not enough carbonium. Not enough carbonium. All right, nine batteries should be enough to last me a long time.
card and I... Okay. Now, most likely, there's only one iron, one or two iron deposits on this small area of map, simulated area. Unique skin for Mr. Reeks. Cool, I guess. My damage over time. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. This creature is extremely hostile. It can be dangerous to our base. Kill it before it kills us. We'll finish researching it in the lab.
back and forth play it play the back and forth game with it I wonder what made it so aggressive. Maybe we can learn something important after researching it in a lab. Those massive monsters are everywhere, people, so be careful. They're usually the ones leading the attacks on your face. Commanding the armies of bad guys to alien creatures to attack your base. There's usually various different types. So. There's also a lot of those rock monsters in here. Try to recover it later. No, I'm dead. Respawn back at base. Well, Of carbonium deposits all over the place, so yeah, you can technically mine out all the carbonium you want, you just have to make sure you have good storage for it. Which is one of the things I use the other world maps for. Like, if there's a small map that has a, a lot of bad guys on it, I clear it out completely and I fill it out with nothing but storage boxes, large caliber storages. You can only have so many out external this outposts looks like away from a large the base. Deposit of ore. Build a steel factory in this area, and power it with a carbonium power plant. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Okay, Mr. Riggs, we've got steel production up and running. Ashley, I would strongly advise you to place a rift portal near this factory. This way, we can quickly get back to this location if it comes under threat. 
it would also be advised to place additional sentinel towers to defend this outpost. Remember to connect the towers to the power grid using energy connectors. Usually whenever I do walls like this, I'm closing off the base from outside access by closing off all the openings with a shitload of walls. That way that if the enemies want to attack, they'll have to chew through like six layers of walls in order to get to the base. Sentinel towers are ready. They should be able to fend off small groups of attackers. Yeah, this base is more or less self-contained now. teleport to that location. Traveling through rifts is almost instant and doesn't consume any resources. I'm detecting hostile creatures heading towards our new mining outpost. They're not going to give us a break, are they? Base is under attack. sensing another attack heading towards our headquarters. We should return there quickly. The HQ has a permanent rift portal. We can rift jump to its location at any moment. Let's go. Now, what I'm curious about is where the bad guys are coming from. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. is under attack. Attack. 
Air humidity is rising. It's going to rain in a moment. The storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Warning! I'm detecting a huge swarm of enemy creatures heading towards our base. It's showing up on my seismic detectors. It's much bigger than anything we've seen before. We don't have much time. We have to set up as many defensive towers as we can. Also remember to build up more walls and lay all the mines that we can. Alright, let's head back to base. So we're, we're going to build a bunch of towers, basically like one right after the other along this wall and the other wall. returning back to normal. It's coming in three minutes, so I mean... I can sense the hostile swarm moving closer towards our base. This attack is going to be much bigger than anything that we've seen before. We still have some time, Mr. Riggs. We can set up multiple layers of walls around our base and place as many defensive towers as we can. You can also use your drill to excavate additional resources if our factories are producing them too slow. Shotgun. Quit. Do 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 Candidate for the mission to Galatea 37. You'd better up those combat statistics if you want to qualify for that jump. We're investing too many resources into this mission just to send a scientist that's going to be eaten by a pack of angry animals. Show us that you can survive out there. Yes, sir. I plan on having my look at all these guns. I, I think I'm good. In the wind fact, is picking up speed. I plan to. I plan to stick even more guns in this area because I still have a few AI cores left, so I'm going to load up. The wind my is walls much stronger than usual. Additional. Oh, look at that. Wind turbines are gonna up, 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 power up for a while. They're gonna be even bigger, more powerful.
make use of this wind if it lasts for a while long enough. battery supplies and now we can charge our batteries build up an even larger supply of power it won't last much longer this infant this windstorm we've only got 30 seconds before the bad guys come our way so yeah Ironium storage is full build more storage facilities Wind speed is returning back to typical values. Wind turbine efficiency returning to normal. Warning! The alien swarm is approaching. Shields enabled. Maximizing power output. This is it, Mr. Riggs. Ready your guns. Let's show them what we can do. Suppressive fire! This is where you really need to make it work. Yeah, you get enough guns here and you won't have to ever worry about defending something. We've defeated the first attack wave. Quickly, repair whatever you can. There should be more of them coming. This attack was a lot stronger. I don't know if we can hold out much longer. Wild animals don't behave like that. They shouldn't act like a sentient army. You will be going to an alien planet full of unknown life forms. Do not assume that you know what kind of dangers might be lurking there. Your primary objective is to survive. If something is trying to kill you, it doesn't matter if it's sentient or not. Adapt or die. Warning. More enemies are heading towards our base. Hey, man. Things are escalating quickly. <laughs> we have to gear up before the second wave hits our walls. Let's show them who they're dealing with. <laughs> Bruh, yeah. Load up, boy. Time to load up. Additional AI cores. More towers. More towers. Build more. <laughs> more towers, man. More. 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 No, we got plenty of friggin' power. No, like, load up. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Yep, that looks like enough guns. Hey. Mm. Two things. Mm. Cheese pizza. They're not. That's what I was kind of assuming. I mean, hell. Yeah, they gotta move all that back now. No, they won't. No, they're not gonna. They're not gonna. Uh, they're not gonna pick it up because they don't have to.
Okay. Warning. More enemies are heading towards our base. Alright. Pause. Pause. Alright, hey, well, let's kick some butt. Time to kick Level some butt. I'm disabling all secondary systems and diverting all power to your guns. It's either us or them. All gun turrets fire wheel fire. Base is under attack. Wall destroyed. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Tower destroyed. Uh, I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared for this. There is a breach in our walls. We're pulling you out, Captain Novak. You weren't meant to survive this final attack wave. It should serve as a reminder that you should never underestimate the threat that you may be dealing with, even if you think you are in control. Your performance during this training session was satisfactory. You can start preparing for your trip to Galatea 37. Congratulations, what? You Novak. little bitch! You don't want me to survive the final attack? How dare you! How dare you! Yeah, we're ready to start a real campaign. That's probably... That was fun for a tutorial so stream, so... Obviously, we're gonna start a new stream whenever we actually start the real campaign. So, we're gonna do that, and then whenever we get into there, we're gonna be dealing with 
a lot more bad guys. I mean, look at this guy. Look, look at that power blade. He's like literally spearing a. Fr He's like stabbing an enemy right through it, and then he's shooting at another enemy. He's like. Bah, 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 bah. Sadly, you can't do that. You can't shoot at two different enemies. You can only shoot directly in front of you, which is kind of the point, because you can rotate really fast, and if you're surrounded, you're just... Just turn in circles and fire bullets in every direction and keep using your bombs and shit. Just keep firing in every direction, like, really fast. It's like... Just die! Anyways... If you like this stream of Rift, this first stream of Rift Raker, please leave a like, follow, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more, and I will be back in a few minutes for the next stream. Thank y'all for watching, everybody. Peace!